Uh, hi, uh, this is Dr. Deepak Meghur and I'll be sharing with you a case today about managing a calcified capsule in hypermature cataract. The calcified capsules in hypermature cataracts are challenging because the rexus is difficult because the capsule is weak, fragile and there is an increased tendency of zonular stress and there is always a risk of equatorial extension. Well, this is an 80-year-old lady with a calcified capsule in a hypermature cataract. I'm trying to puncture the capsule and lift a flap. And once I lift a flap, you can see that there's a thick underlying subcapsular plaque, a calcified plaque. When trying to negotiate this capsular tear around this plaque, it's very obvious that the tear is being uncontrolled and it's very clear that the amount of stress induced on the zonules is very high where you can uh, very obviously see about the amount of stress which is being in, imposed that the problem really is the underlying white flaky thing so we need to stop here and dissect the capsule out from the underlying calcified area so i'm using viscoelastic to trying to separate out uh, cheese out this uh, thick calcified area I need to resort to my micro scissors and forceps to hold the uh, calcified plaque and trying to separate it with two forceps and eventually I need to use my scissors to dissect out and cut out this fibrotic band. Well the message here really is that you know we need to deal with these uh, calcified plaques first so that the rest of the capsule can be handled in a much better way. I'm using my scissors to cut off the adhesions between the overlying capsule and the calcified plaque. And the micro scissors and forceps are a great tool. And once the plaque is removed, I'm trying to negotiate the capsule and trying to create some sort of a rexus. And it's very obviously seen that the capsule behaves in an entirely different way in the zones where there is no calcification. It behaves in a very absolutely normal way. So the message here is again we need to deal with the underlying calcified areas first and then tackle with the healthy capsule. Since I'm dealing with a slightly denser nucleus, I decide to enlarge the capsulotomy opening to slightly bigger size because it will make the nucleus management much more simpler and safer. Once we have a capsulotomy of the adequate size, the last fibrotic band is cut open. So we have a capsulotomy of decent size and then proceed to do with the phacoemulsification. The nucleus is divided into multiple small fragments gently and then uh, emulsified and aspirated. Care is to be taken uh, that we don't impart any zonular stress because we need to remember that we are dealing with a hypermature cataract and an elderly patient. Last piece is removed and the foldable lens is implanted in the bag.